Hello there, it's Glenn Fisher again, and we are now into what I believe is it our fourth video? Fourth video? Um, we are setting up your own online business, and I am showing you step by very simple step um, how to do so uh, using a WordPress website. Now, today um, I want to show you, or rather in this video, I want to show you. Um, two very important things that are very closely related now uh, the power of one and all that I should really uh, only do one thing at a time but I with you being able to pause this uh, and look at it I'm going to try and get it all in at once um, the first part I'll show you exactly how to do it it's very quick process very simple um, and then I'm not sure how long the second part will take me um, I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff so uh, we'll see. If it goes on for too long, I'll have to um, reset everything and, and do it again. Um, but what I'll do, I'll kind of speed through the, f the second part. And then if you email me um, with some feedback, you can tell me which bits you need me to expand on. Um, so what we are going to look at is um, a very important thing. And that is when someone puts their email address into your WordPress website. Remember, at the moment, the only thing you're using on your WordPress press website to collect names is the blog subscription now that is fine for the time being as I say we can look at um, other ways of collecting names in the future but that will cost us a little bit more money so at the moment we're trying to do everything for free to establish that that, that business idea is there um, so we're using the blob, the blob subscription <laughs> blog subscription uh, to collect names now that is fine because you can export those names from WordPress uh, and put them into a free uh, emailing program so that you can contact those people. Uh, it's not ideal, it's not perfect, but at the starting point of your own online business, um, this really is the easiest and best way to do it. And it just, it kind of teaches you how to do this on a much bigger scale. You can just see the basics, start understanding information publishing, um, remember, it's this is people say you can set up your own business. You need to know what how it all works, the kind of and get a feel for it. So, hopefully, that's what this will do. Um, so, let's get kicking because as, as I say, there is a lot to get through. Um, where I'm on the dashboard of my Glen is Cool website. Uh, now, you should know how to get to the dashboard by now. If you don't, go back and watch the uh, previous videos. Uh, but we're on the dashboard. And what you want to do is on the home page here, the dashboard itself, if you scroll down, you'll see stats. And you can see some people have been visiting it. That's probably me. Um, here, on the right-hand side of the uh, headline of stats, view all. Click on that. And it's kind of hidden away, these subscriptions. But we'll find them. Um, this takes you to a more detailed stats page. And then if you scroll down, um, or if you've got a bigger screen, I'm back on the trusty rubbish laptop. Um, if you have a bigger screen, excuse me, I'll just turn my phone off. Um, yeah, if you have a bigger screen, you might be able to see it on that page. But if you scroll down, you'll see total subscriptions and shares. And what you want to be looking for here is site subscriptions. And you can see I've got one active subscriber there, it says. Now, that's not actually true, but it's not updated yet. What you'll see in a minute, if you click on there, site sat subscribers, WordPress subscribers, there are none there because no one on WordPress is subscribed to my uh, blog. If you go to email subscribers, there we go. You can see that I've signed up using the Your Own Online Business email address and the Shortcut Bulletin email address. So now, those two email addresses, let's say that was you and that was me, two people have signed up to your um, blog to receive updates, to receive information about your website. So what you can do is download all as a CSV file. Now, I don't even know what that means, but I can tell you now it says comma separated values. What that actually means is it's an Excel spreadsheet with your um, with your email addresses on. So now I've got those email addresses in hard copy on my uh, computer. I can save that and I can use that as I wish. Now obviously uh, when it comes to collecting names you should always ensure that you um, 
cohere with the Data Protection Act. You shouldn't misuse people's names. You shouldn't rent them or sell them. Or if you are, you should make very clear at the point of subscription that you are intending to do that. Uh, for myself, I never um, aim to rent names or sell them like that. And that's why you'll always see at the bottom of short um, bulletin signups uh, the the spam uh, and uh, privacy disclaimer. Um, but once you've got those, you I'd save that and do this regularly, update it, and you'll just see a list growing. And that's your list. Now, you can take that spreadsheet and you can upload that spreadsheet into pretty much any um, autoresponder, any email program uh, that you care to pick or choose, whether it's something more advanced like Aweber or iContact. Um, or something which we're going to look at in a minute, uh, much simpler, a free uh, emailer like uh, MailChimp. But the key thing here is, is that you've got those um, email addresses stored um, completely off the internet now. That is your list and you guard it with your life because that is really is the key to your business. It's, the, it's what will keep it alive eventually. Now, I've deleted that for the time being um, because we don't, I'm going to use it at the end to show you. So we'll just leave that um, there for now and we'll go into the second part. So what I wanted to just do there was show you how you can get your email names off there. Um, now partly, I know there's still a lot of work to do on the WordPress site, but partly I just wanted to show you how this all starts linking together um, and how it all does mirror a real uh, information publishing business. So now you've seen that, you, you can see that you can get those names off there. What would you do with those names? You want to email them. You want to um, start going to them and discussing business at your own pace, at your own time, on your own ter terms. So to do that, we need to get some form uh, of email program. Um, it's no good just sending it from your uh, Microsoft Outlook, uh, it'll just get ridiculous. So we want to get a free program and the one I recommend using is something called MailChimp. And the reason I say that is because it's just very simple, it's very easy and it's just a very good almost tutorial uh, tool um, for starting up an internet business. It's not perfect, it's frustrating, believe me, I've used it on a number of occasions. Um, but it is the best way of learning about this stuff and just getting your foot in the door uh, before you have to spend a load of money. So I'm going to try and walk you through a setup for this uh, and then show you how to import those names into MailChimp. So you visit www.mailchimp.com and you land on this uh, page and you can see there's a chimp there with a post bag. Um, all very cute and nice. And all you need to do is sign up for free. And if you click on that button and scroll down here um, and enter your email address and a username, which I'll do is Glenn is cool, and a password. Um, create my account. Thanks for signing up. Check your email. So if I just um, jump across here, ooh, I'm hoping. Yes, there is a direct link to that. Uh, I think I should be able to get into my account from here. Ooh. I can, and you can see the. MailChimp email, if I just expand that for you, click to see the images, yes, welcome to the party, activate your account, yes please, so click on that in your inbox, and you'll be taken to this page, which is one of these uh, robot protection pages to make sure you're a real person, so enter those increasingly difficult to see words confirm sign up and we are taken back to the home page and if we go glenn is cool and put my password in which i hope i've done correctly log in come on 
hurrah so you can see there it's asking me for some details so let's just say you're putting these details in uh, just put that uh, office you will obviously put all your Ealing I'm not in Ealing we're in Southwark um, Well, it doesn't matter anyway, it's irrelevant at the moment. Um, just put some details in there. Bermuda, I wish I was in Bermuda. Um, and there we go, let's say Glen is Cool is the organisation. Um, now, I'm just going to put this here for now because Glen is Cool dot WordPress dot com is the um, the website Earl for my web, uh, WordPress blog uh, and whatever you uh, have replaced Glenny Cool with so let's say it's uh, my first business it would be www.myfirstbusiness.wordpress.com we're going to look at further down the line how you can uh, get a, a, a nicer neater uh, domain name but for time being don't worry about that uh, your industry uh, will just put um, non-profit because I'm not really attempting to profit from you at this point uh, I'm just showing you and a security question um, if you could be any animal what would it be and I actually know the uh, answer to this it's a honey badger because interesting fact they are the most fearless creature in the uh, animal kingdom so there you go didn't know that did you uh, save and get started so let's save all that Let's hope they accept it all, and they do. And we are on to your dashboard. That's what they call all these things. So you've got a, a WordPress dashboard now and a MailChimp dashboard. And that's where you're going to... These dashboards are where you essentially run your business from. Now, what this does, to let you know, you can send for free um, 12,000 emails per month to 2,000 subscribers. Now, unless you're an internet marketing genius and you're about to use this to generate 2,000 subscribers um, in the next few days, you uh, you might have to pay for that. But um, I'm hoping that it's going to be a little while longer for you to t grow those 2,000 subscribers, so it'll be free for a while. Uh, that said, if you've got 2,000 subscribers, then you can certainly, um, you should be certainly able to afford to uh, just pay a small monthly fee but we won't worry about that at the moment what this essentially does is let us send emails and learn how it works so today um, we're going to come back to all this we're going to show how you can uh, design f sign up forms and get people signed up how you can create a campaign that you send emails uh, to your subscribers but today we want to create a subscriber list and we want to um, import uh, those names that we got from a WordPress website so Let's call it Glenn is cool um, list, and the default from name is from Glenn. Default reply to um, we'll put my your own online business um, email address, which you, that's the email address you should use if you want to uh, email me about these videos uh, if you send any other addresses that it might not get to me that is specifically the YouTube address is for um, discussing matters relating to these videos and setting up your online, own online business if you've not subscribed to that address just uh, drop me an email let me know and we'll, I'll show you I'll get you the link to uh, subscribe to receive my emails about this uh, default subject line is uh, we'll just put hi from Glenn uh, that would, if you didn't put a subject line in the emails that you sent, that's what would appear. Um, remind people how they got on your list. This is all very um, self-explanatory, and I'm hoping you'll be able to work through it. So I'm going through it fast intentionally, not to bore you. Um, but we'll just put, uh, you showed an interest in receiving this email because you would like to set up your own online business and 
is this the correct info? The search has just taken that info. My company is Glennis Cool. Uh, I put that my address was work office Southwark London. Blah blah. That's fine. Uh, email me at Glenn Fisher if people subscribe. So yeah, I want to know if people subscribe because then it feels good that people subscribe. Um, but I'll take the bad with the good. If people unsubscribe, let me know that too. People can pick email format, HTML, uh, plain text, or mobile. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. Don't worry about that. We'll look at that when we come to um, sending actual emails. Uh, you can see then, OK, all that, your new list was created. Uh, your new list is default. We'll store email, first name, and last name. But you can add more fields if you like. And you can obviously delete fields if you want. So you can see here, import contacts. We're going to do that. And we are very simply. Now, all you have to do is you scroll down here. Let me just have a look so you can use my list. You can only from people who sign up at your website, which is what happened. You can see here, no third party lists. Um, or scrape from websites, chambers of commerce, lists, and all this stuff. Basically, if someone's um, signed up to get information from you, um, that's fine. But if you're just taking random emails, uh, for example, if you took um, if you took my uh, Y O O B U at Gora and just put that in there. Um, without my permission, without me showing an interest in your website, um, you're essentially spamming me. Um, and if I was to get that and not know anything about it, then I would most likely hit spam uh, and that would be a black mark against your business. So you don't want to do that. All you want to do is send e emails to people who um, are interested in receiving your information. Now, because what we're doing here is taking your emails from your website um, at WordPress to the MailChimp, um, they know they're getting updates, but you want to make it as clear as possible in that first email that you're sending it about um, you. So hopefully the title of your email will be the same as your website. Um, hopefully um, you'll not be spamming people, so you'll be sending them information about what they've requested from your website. Um, so if you do that um, and give them opportunity to confirm and opt in to your email, you should be fine. Okay. So what we want to look at here is you can see you can copy and paste from Excel or upload from file and if you see there just under here CSV or tab delimited dot txt so what we want to do and I said that's not the right thing where's my MailChimp login that's not right here we go so we were here and we press download CSV. You remember from the first half of this video, I short showed you how to download that, how to get to that page. We go to save as. We save that CSV somewhere where we can get it. And we give it, we'll just leave it, Glenn's cool. We'll save it on the desktop. This file could not be accessed trying. Ah, right, okay. Um, going to have to give it a slightly less ridiculous name. Let's call it Glenn is cool. And just uh, come on, play along. Where are we? Delete the nonsense. Glenn is cool. Series may contain features that are not compatible with CSV. Do you want to keep the workbook in this format? Yes, that's fine. And then we close. No. Let's hope this works. <laughs> so we go to upload from file. And we browse. We're back in MailChimp now. And if we go to my desktop, which is going to be a mess, but if we look for Glenn is cool CSV and open that, and then we go. Oh, if you always press auto update my existing list, um, that's for the next time you, if you were using the same CSV file, then you might be duplicating people. So that will just kind of. Uh, notice anybody you've already uploaded. Uh, for now, we don't want to worry about this. All we need to do is import list and touch wood. It works. Does it work? Two subscribers. View all subscribers. Let's see what happens. 
And there we go. Look, there's the U Bagora and there's Shocker Bulletin. Brilliant. So we have now um, literally created an email list in uh, Glenn's call in MailChimp um, that we can now, if we so desired, create a campaign and send emails to those addresses at once um, with uh, information about my business in. So now I can communicate any customers that have signed up through the WordPress website uh, and communicate with them um, via email. Um, I hope you can see that is essentially um, the foundation of, a, of an effective uh, online business. Um, this really is, it seems simple. Uh, obviously the hard part is getting those customers and building this list. But I'm going to show you how to do that too. I've got some tricks up my sleeve that uh, I think you'll be very pleased with. So for now, um, if you can watch this video again, take each of those steps one type at a time, get yourself set up on MailChimp as I showed you how to do, um, and just start building content on that website. That is the key thing. Start building content on that website. Once you've got content on there, once you've got yourself set up on WordPress, once you've got yourself set up on MailChimp, and once you've uh, got you those linked together, um, this is all going to come together very quickly and very easily, but it really does rely on you to build that website up with as much content about your niche as possible. Um, your homework for this week is literally just to set that uh, MailChimp uh, list up and uh, just have a go um, at perhaps just sign up to your own um, WordPress and just try and export your own name um, and import it uh, into MailChimp. Do that. Next time, I'm going to ask you to do something for me um, based on an experience that I had recently. Um, but I'll explain more about it next time, uh, and I hope you tune in for that video. Uh, for the time being, I'll sign off. Um, I hope you found this useful. Cheers.